What's up guys? This is AJM Gamer Girl and today I'm gonna show you guys how to complete week one challenges for season seven battle royale. First thing we gotta do is pick up five different rarities. That's pretty easy. It sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy. White is common, green is uncommon, blue is rare, purple is epic, and orange is legendary. It doesn't matter what it is, it can be a bush, a slurp, a gun, a grenade, it doesn't matter. Just pick it up. You don't need to use it, just pick it up. You can dump it afterwards, nobody will judge you. Next, we need to dance in seven forbidden signs. If you guys remember, we've been doing this every single season. Dancing at forbidden signs. Enjoy those default dances, guys, because pretty soon it will be gone. First, I started at Dusty Depot. You can go in any order. Just follow the map or the video. It doesn't matter. I just did it accordingly to how I was comfortable and where the bus dropped me off. Next, I went on a little hill next to Risky Reels. There's an ice cream truck. In the back of the ice cream truck is a sign. It says caution children. Yeah, they're gonna kidnap you. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Across from Wailing Woods is another hill with a car and a rock and a dance. Dance. What are they gonna do about the default dances? I know they're removing it, but do people with free passes have dance moves? Because I would feel bad if they didn't have it. They would be like, odd. I mean, they're already odd with default skins, but who cares? But not being able to dance and express yourself, well, I don't know. I haven't paid attention to all the tiers. Maybe they have dances, who knows. Then we're going to head over to Junk Junction at our beloved Llama. Every season we've been coming to this llama. You know what's my opinion? I think we need to have a contest. What's the next origami animal going to be placed in Fortnite? I think that's a pretty good suggestion. We all pitch in and submit something and see what happens next. We're going to head to the Stunt Hill. If you guys remember when we first got shopping carts, we had to do challenges on these racks. And that's one of the locations. Next, we're going to head over to the racetrack. I ran around this building like six times trying to find this sign. I didn't even know it was like attached to the building. It depends on where you're standing. It could be in the front or the back. Don't be like me and run around six times trying to find it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I did. I went there three times trying to find this sign. This was like one of the annoying ones for me. I was like, man, where is this thing at? That's what, that is something Finally, that for that to challenge, we we're going to head over in one know, of the um, new locations. But this life fell off Frosty the car, Flights. But like At the thing. end, you're going to see the signs. You can jump over and respawn or zip line over and fly out. Next, we need to get at least one elimination per match. We need to do this five times. So if you're doing squads, duos, solos, and you suck, do like me. Head into Team Rumble. You have lots of time to get a kill. You just need one at the end of each match. You need five. That's it. Next, we need to go on the top of the crown of RVs. I don't know if you call it a crown. I flew over and I didn't really see much of it. But hey, I was in a storm, so I was kind of hurrying up. I showed you guys how to get there, now you'll see how I did my challenge when I was in the storm. I did die, but I don't want to show it, because I don't want a gravestone be planted up there with my name. Even though it would be cool, but I don't want to be known as the idiot that died in the storm up there. Hey. Next, we're going to head over to Lonely Lodge. There's a huge turtle. If you miss this, you need glasses. Seriously. They should have put a disco ball at a dance floor right there on top of him where we got to dance. Finally, final stage, we need to head over back to Frosty Flights. There's a sub on a hill. We don't know how it got there. Maybe it got there falling off the bus? I don't know. A Yeti tossed it up there? So many possibilities, but we all truly know how we got there. Anyways, I lost my footage, so I did this in playground mode. Yeah, playground mode. 
What do you guys- have you guys tried a creative mode? I haven't done it yet. I can't wait to create something and see what happens. If other people can interact, you can like post it up and other players can interact. I haven't really read much about it because I hate spoilers. I just want to learn as I go with games. I don't want to ruin my gaming experience. Anyways, if you guys like it, tried it and liked it, let me know what you think. So I'm going to land here and dance, but you're not going to see me completing it because obviously I did it before and it's not going to re-show me doing it because I am also in playground mode. What do you guys think about the new winter place? The zip lines, the planes, the change to the balloons. Now we can kill people whilst we're floating. We can also shoot people in the planes, but I haven't killed anyone. I shot another plane and destroyed it, but the guy didn't die. We can just zip line and shoot people easier way to get up a hill too you know a lot of people like to camp on hills and in trees it's insane people are always in a tree somewhere but hey it is what it is right now we need to get 500 headshot damage it's pretty easy we don't need to do it in one match so you can use a shotgun, an AR, a pistol, a sniper rifle, but can you use a pickaxe? I dare anyone to use a pickaxe and get that challenge done. I probably wouldn't, because I suck. You don't need to kill anyone, you just need to get the damage. But, you know, 90% of the time, if you shoot someone in the head, you're going to kill them. But hey, this is just a video game, it doesn't work like that. Now, this is a three-part stage. We have to get five ammo boxes. We'll search five ammo boxes in one match. I like to go to the castle, but it's depressing since they destroyed the castle. I didn't want to go there, but you can go there. You can start from the castle, work your way down the haunted hills, and clean up in Pleasant Park or Junk Junction. Remember, there's other people doing these challenges, so be careful. Our teammates might be opening boxes too. But if you finish these challenges, Leave the boxes for other people who need to do the challenges. Please, be nice and kind to others, man. Then we need to open, I think, two or three crates? Chests? I'm not sure. I don't remember how many chests we need to open in a match. That's pretty easy. I mean, there's lots of places that you can go and get chests. So that's fairly easy. And then finally, final stage... We need to open a supply box. Those are the balloons with the little blue boxes in the bottom, the crates. Uh, we need to search one of those. Um, I would say if you're doing squads, duos, or solo, it would be kind of hard if you're bad at this game. But it would be easy if you do it in time. Team Rumbled. Um, it's a time limit match. But there's so many opportunities that you have to get a balloon. Just find one that's in the middle of nowhere. Last, we need to get a kill. In five different named locations. There's so many new locations out there. But you can always use the old popular ones. That everybody seems to be flocking to. Like Dusty Depot. Tilted Towers. Loot Cave. There's so many. Those are like some main areas that people always go to. You can do it in solo. You can do it in duos. You can do it in squads. You can follow the circles to a named area. And get it done. But good luck guys. Because I know to some people that might be hard. Finally, when you've done all the challenges, you will unlock the hidden wallpaper. It will show you how to complete the battle star. The location will be on the wallpaper, loading screen, battle banner, I don't know, what do you call it? But you just go back to Frosty Flights, land on the sub, and collect it. Unfortunately, like I said, I lost my footage, but I do have a screenshot showing when I picked it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I've been sick. And I've been ranting on this video. Believe it or not, I'm an introvert trying to do this. Thank you guys so much. I'm out, and that's a wrap.